All right, so this is going to be the third electrical project for the HVAC students. The first project they did was a single pole switch, outlet, light, and this just gave them, gave them some basic understanding of uh, how to do some basic electrical wiring. Now, the first two projects that we do in HVAC are really more residential wiring projects than anything else. But this three-way switch here was their second project, and now they're going to be taking it a step further with a contactor, transformer, and a, what's really a line voltage thermostat, but we'll be using 24 volts for it. Uh, these are all parts that we've gotten out of other pieces of equipment, and the goal now is that they're not just wiring up a single pole switch, but they have the contactor that's going to control the fan motor turning on and off. And this is just a simple shaded pole 8 watt fan motor. So when you need this stuff for the project, come on over here, and you're going to come over to this bin, and you need to have Pretty much every bin's got the setup for you already. So you're going to grab your fan motor, your line voltage thermostat, okay, which is uh, really out of an air conditioning unit or refrigerator, or I think this one came out of a water cooler. A single pole, although it's got two poles, it's really just a single pole contactor. And you need to make sure on the side the coil voltage says 24 volts. I'll show you the difference between some contactors in a minute. And the last piece you'll need is the transformer, 120 to 24 volts. So you get all those components, grab one of the boards, and you can set it up pretty much any which way that you like. Uh, it's up to you on how to put it on the board. The only thing that we need, and I know it looks like a calamity with all the stuff going on, but the only thing you need to make sure is that you have a ground to all the parts. So they ran a ground here because it's a wood board and connected the ground so that no matter what I touch for this on this one here. It'll go and it'll beep to ground so I can set it up here and the box should beep all the way to the fan. Everything should beep to ground so that it's bonded. And the way this works is, is you're going to have a power cord coming in, 120 volts. You'll break the black wire through the single pole switch. The white will connect and go right to L1 on the contactor and then the black one is going to go right to T1 on the contactor. Uh, I'm sorry, L2, L1, L2, okay? And then the transformer, the 120 volts, also feeds to L1, L2 on the contactor. The 24 volt side, the step down side of the power, is actually gonna go through this thermostat. On the other side of the thermostat terminal, you'll connect that to the uh, coil of the contactor, and then the other side of the transformer, the 24 volts, goes right to the contactor with no break in it. And then on the T1, T2, you're just gonna have one of the uh, leads for each of the fan motors. Now match the common. So if you don't, if you got this wire coming back off the fan motor, remember that the rough one is going to be your common. That's going to be your neutral, and the smooth one's going to be hot. So the smooth one should have the break of the contacts if it's a single pole contactor. Now what is a contactor really? It's just an electromagnet, and they have different sizes. Like both these contactors are three pole, and they look the same. But if I look on the side, this one has a 208, 240 volt coil. So that's going to take 208, 240 volts to energize the magnet to pull down the set of contacts, whereas this one's a 24 volt coil. And then check the coil, make sure it's working because some of the coils for the contacts are not, if I put this here, if it doesn't beep or show any resistance, I really don't care what the number is, but open link means that this is a bad contact, you can't use that one. You should, if it's a 24 volt coil, which is this one here, read some sort of measurable resistance and it should be like that's 8 ohms. So that's the 24 volt coil and this is and this one doesn't beep because it's 208 volt coil so it has a lot more resistance on it than the uh, 24 volt 412 ohms and they all change it doesn't really matter as long as you're reading some measurable resistance that coil's good but make sure that we're lining up uh, with our transformer the type of power we're using for the coil. What is it? I showed the kids a spiral notebook and what happens to it, which is pretty much this right here, spiral of wire. And when you put current uh, voltage to it, the current electromagnetic field, when I uh, energize it and put an iron bar around that coil, now it won't, it'll heat up, but the focus now is gonna be more on making an electromagnet. So right now, we got nothing, nothing's happening. But as soon as I apply with that iron bar in the center, 120 volts to it, now we have an electromagnet, and that's really what we're doing with that contactor. It's an electromagnet that energizes and de-energizes. Instead of somebody turning on a switch, it's usually operated through a thermostat, like this one here that senses temperature. 
Now for the HVAC students to test their project, you're gonna need to bring it over to the snowman. The snowman's gonna test your project for you. And before you plug it in, because we're dealing with a little bit of water, you're gonna plug it into a GFI, GCFI, uh, GFCI actually, ground fault circuit interrupter, because we're dealing with water around the snowman. So this is the snowman that runs all year long. And we can turn it off generally at the end of the year, but it's actually used to test your project. So you're gonna use a meter, and I'll have a separate video on this one, uh, but you're gonna to need to wrap the thermostat. Whoa! We're losing stuff here, but you're gonna to need to wrap the thermostat around the snowman, and that's gonna control your temperature. We could also use a cup of ice, but with ice water, uh, then you got the electrical, and we don't really like electrical and water, so this really, the ice is gonna be fine, but you're gonna plug your project into here. Make sure the fan motor doesn't have any wires around it so that it's not gonna cut up any wires, and then we can, uh, we got the switch off. So here's what's gonna happen here. When we plug it in, and turn it on, it should energize the contactor to allow the fan motor to come on. And boom, we got cooling. Now to test out the thermostat to make sure it's working, we're gonna wrap the thermostat around the snowman. All right, and then that should, if, if the snowman's cold enough, it'll uh, actually make the, uh, the thermostat satisfied, which means the fan motor should kick off just like that once it gets cold enough. Now the thermostat's just using refrigerant pressure to push a switch instead of us doing this with the switch. So when the pressure gets cold, there's not enough force to keep this contacts closed on the switch, so they open up, breaks the power to the contactor, contactor breaks the power to the fan, and that's pretty much it. And it's waiting for something to heat back up, so it would take something hot to warm the pressure and heat it back up to make the bellows in the thermostat push on the contacts again. And you just heard it click, and now once it gets cold again, it'll satisfy, and do the same thing over and over again. So you're going to test out your project like that. Now you're going to use the meter to measure voltage at L1, L2, and you're also going to use the amp meter to clip around one wire to measure amperage uh, on, the, on, the, on one of the wires going to the fan motor. So you're going to use the voltmeter to measure voltage on L1, L2, and then you're going to use the amp meter, and then I want you to measure with the voltmeter across the thermostat with it energized and de-energized, because you're going to get a different reading for when the power is going through the thermostat and when it is de-energized and the switch contacts are open for that. So that's pretty much the third electrical project. You got your single pole switch, your line voltage thermostat controlled uh, by a transformer that's stepping down the power to the coil of the contactor and a standard 30 amp single pole contactor.